little nervous. They're all like. <laughs> there were more smiles during this case than you would typically find during a drug trial. <laughs> Grade 6, 7, and 8 students from St. Francis School played the roles of defendant, witnesses, and attorneys during an exercise at the U of S Native Law Center, and according to the presiding judge, did a better job in some cases than their real-life counterparts. Like I said, if uh, you, you'd wish every lawyer would be as concise in terms of those questions. Judge Gerald Morin was impressed with the job these students did in all aspects. He says all too often young people he sees in court are there for the wrong reasons and it's important to teach them about the positive aspects of our legal system. They're not recipients, they're participants in relation to it. To me, that's very important. I think so often we see it in another situation, and uh, not a good situation. Here, it was positive. It's a learning situation. It's safe, and they did a great job. But this is an opportunity for them to meet lawyers and judges and other legal professionals and see that we're just people too and that we're here to help. The mock trial was part of the Canadian Lawyers Abroad Dare to Dream program aimed at Aboriginal youth aged 11 to 14. While the youngsters involved may feel differently about the legal system after going through the year-long experience, they aren't the only ones. It is a two-way transfer of knowledge. I think our, our volunteers are both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal lawyers and law students, so it's also, I think, a great opportunity for us to learn from the students, and that would benefit lawyers and their practice going forward as well, to be more competent in Aboriginal customs and values. And even though law students are exceptionally busy, the local coordinator of Dare to Dream says they had to turn away volunteers who wanted to assist in the process. As a second year law student, I know it's important to give back to the community. Uh, I come from a family of, of teachers um, off and on reserve schools. So I, it looked to me like this would be a great experience for the, for the kids. It also, a, well, a good way for the law students to really interact with the community. In the end, the accused was found innocent, a verdict the judge agreed with and the Crown Prosecutor was left with mixed emotions. A little bit devastated, but kind of happy I didn't get um, gone guilty because I didn't want so much pressure put on me. But the lasting effect on Sadie seems to have been a good one. She says she wants to become a police officer, possibly in Los Angeles. When you press the, ba the backpack to red, did you know it was for a drug deal. I always get goosebumps when I'm watching these students in these roles because I really do believe that they're being brave, they're using their critical thinking and uh, leadership skills by standing up in front of a very intimidating room like that, especially today with having press there and everything, but I think it's a pretty special experience for them as well. No further questions, Your Honor. For Campus Life, I'm Simon Hyatt.